Hi, this is Matt with MicroCenter and just wanted to uh, do a real quick video on overclocking the Pentium Anniversary Edition, uh, which is a G3258 chip. Uh, we have a great bundle uh, with the MSI Z97 PCMate board and it should be pretty easy uh, to show you how to overclock this chip. It is a great overclocker. So I have a test bench set up here with the chip running on the PCMate. Z97 uh, with uh, just a basic Cooler Master air fan, uh, nothing fancy at all. Uh, first thing you want to do is download the latest BIOS from MSI's website. MicroCenter has actually been instrumental in having MSI adjust the BIOS to get the most overclocking out of this chip, and you will need to download version 4.2. Uh, you'll see it up here. We have a for version 4.2 there on the BIOS that's what you want to be using and that way you'll get the best overclock out of this chip so first thing definitely go and do the flash it's very easy to do put it on a blank USB and uh, all you have to do is click the M flash button down here can't miss it and then all you have to do is select one file to update BIOS and you're ready to go so now that you got the BIOS updated, let's go into the overclock settings and I can show you pretty easily. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of changes to make, uh, but depending on your chip uh, where your overclock will end up. Let me show, first thing we want to do is select the overclock button here on the left. Once you do that, you'll be able to see all the overclocking options and I am in the advanced mode there so you, there's two different modes simple and advanced I sort of move right to the advanced mode uh, just gives you a few more options to mess with this chip should easily do 4.4 gigahertz I've been tweaking it I'm up to, I got 47 out of it so this is the first thing you want to change. This is your ratio. That's what's the cool part about this chip is the it's unlocked. So it allows you to change the CPU ratio. So to start with, it's, I, I started with 44. So that would be a 4.4 gigahertz. Base clock settings at all, leave that at 100. No need to mess with that. Your RAM, uh, do not mess with that initially. Try to get your CPU overclock stable first before you attempt overclocking any of your RAM. Uh, and there's all kinds of tutorials out there on the web on how to do that. So we're not going to go in that, go into that too much today. So then the next thing you want to do is the voltage. So the first thing that you have to do is you want to come down here and look at the CPU Core Ring GT voltage mode. And you have a lot of you have a bunch of options there. Most likely it's set on auto. What you want to do is set it on override mode. That allows you to enter in a voltage uh, directly from the keyboard. So click on override mode. Right now you can see I'm I've settled in a 1.42 voltage to get my 4.7 gigahertz. Uh, that can vary, obviously depending on chip. If you're starting at 4.4, I would recommend that you actually start at um, 1.3 and start there. This voltage mode right here, the CPU SAIO, IOA and IOD voltage mode, the best thing to do is actually keep it in manual. You don't want to put it in offset mode. So leave it in manual mode and then I have auto for the rest of the settings there. So no need to change anything else. Next thing you do, save it. Just like I'm going to put back my my uh, voltage that I got to, which is 1.42. What you do up here is click the X up in the top right corner, and it'll ask you to save. Once you save it, you go do a slight reboot here, and then we'll get into Windows and show you how you can take a look at your setting. Okay, now that you've rebooted into Windows, I like to use a couple programs just to monitor my overclock progress. First one is called CPU-Z. And you load that up, that can be, just Google that, you can download that. The other one is RealTemp, and I have version 3.70. Uh, CPU-Z just shows, just shows you what voltage you're running, 
confirms your, your speed that you're running. Real temp is good for monitoring your temperatures uh, during your overclock, your load and your temperatures. So, the program I use to stress out the CPU is called Prime95. Uh, try to you can again Google that and download version 27.9 or later, 64-bit uh, uh, if you have that. And you can run that, and then it'll ask you to run a torture test, and then I just run a blend, which tests your RAM and your CPU. And once you start that, you'll immediately see your load go to 100% and your temperatures rise from idle, and that will get you going on your overclock. Uh, you'll know fairly quickly if things are are going okay. Uh, Prime 95 will fail, the, the workers will fail if your overclock is not stable, or your machine will blue screen and reboot. So after, if any of those things happen, um, go back in and up your voltage a couple ticks and then come back and try and do the same thing. Or you may need to lower down your, your overclock. Uh, all chips are not created equal. So you may uh, have to back down uh, even to 4.2 or 4.3 if necessary. But uh, one thing to remember, I'm not using the Intel uh, air cooler, stock cooler. I've upgraded a little bit to a little bit better cooler. Um, that way uh, you get a better chance to get a higher overclock on air. So run, run Prime 95. Once you get, uh, if you can run Prime 95 for three or four hours, without it rebooting or crashing, you have a pretty stable overclock. So that's the best way to test it, and that should help you get your overclock going.